Hi everybody. Hi. We are bringing you week 14 from Annie the Ark, which we got back today. She was there for how many weeks? Like almost four weeks. For really. almost a month, <laughs> getting repaired. What all got done to her? I had a new uh, fuel shut off solenoid, a new starter, and then some other uh, U joint something or another that the tow truck driver messed up. So fun times. Yeah, fun times. But we are starting to plan our trip back to our home on Sanibel. Right now, we are looking at maybe starting next week back. Maybe next weekend. We have to go get a tow dolly for our car. And um, hurricane situation, we know that um, the causeway is back open. Mm -hmm. Going to Sanibel to the public, which will help, I think, contractors get, get some more people over there to do some stuff for us. So that'll be useful. Yeah. And we had the electrician, an electrician go to our house to get us a plug set up for Annie. Yeah, we need a 50 so. amp plug for her. So hopefully we can get that uh, wired in before we leave, before we get back. Yeah. Uh, they're still... There are unfortunately some businesses on Sanibel that are starting to more that are starting to say that they will not reopen like Rosie's Cafe. Mm -hmm. um, and there's still only, I think, one hotel open down there. Uh, the Island Inn is the only one on Sanibel mm -hmm. that we know of. Uh, there's on Captiva, Jensen's, and then what's the Tween Waters is mm -hmm. open. Uh, yeah. But that's about it. And I heard uh, that. Uh, Twin Waters was really high, <laughs> so it's very high. And I do know that the Captiva is the only place that has open beaches right now. Santa Bell actually put out a a thing saying that not even residents um, are encouraged to go to the beach, and um, so it's going to be an interesting <laughs> journey back. And mm -hmm. we're all still navigating through. We still don't have any insurance payouts, but there, uh, there's our next topic of conversation for where we at in week 14. We did have to let go of our public adjuster, which was Chad Smith from Taylor Loss Consultants. We are not going to speak bad to him. We it just, just wasn't working out. It wasn't working out. So, and um, it's time to go a different direction. Yeah. And we have uh, went through a, to a law firm now and we will all, I think that's going to be a better avenue for us. Yes. So. Um, and we know that some of our financial situation with our insurance may have been caused by our public adjuster, not necessarily insurance. So I don't want everyone out there thinking, oh, the insurance companies are so terrible. I mean, they, they're not great. They haven't been great, but... Yeah, it's um, taken this long. It shouldn't yeah. have. And, and we also don't want to scare people from public adjusters because in theory, public adjusters most probably do a good job so i don't want to give public adjusters about we didn't feel like we went in the wrong direction by hiring one it's just ours just didn't work didn't for work what we needed so for what we needed <laughs> communication wasn't there and um so that's why we're moving ourselves in a different direction mm -hmm. we probably should have just hired attorneys in the first place um so that's but our lesson know. but so, we didn't know yeah. a lot of people in the area don't even know and people watching right now probably don't even know but we probably should have just gotten a, an attorney because there are attorneys that specialize in insurance so in the future that is a lesson learned going forward we know attorneys aren't always bad they get a bad rep too but they can be very helpful in situations like hurricane ian for many people mm -hmm. in the meantime we are still planning our trip back and putting our plans moving forward to get back to sanibel get some hopefully insurance money to start the repairs on our home and um we also have a pool that is not going to need some work. <laughs> yeah. Lots of so. electrical work. Our roof still, we know, needs to be new, new siding. Our floor is warped. So neither of us are really, I mean, you know, everyone's like, oh, are you looking forward to going home? No. No, now we got to start working. So that's, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've been working this whole time. We have jobs. Well, starting the hard work of... <laughs> he, we've been having to move things so, forward, so. make phone calls, numerous phone calls. Yeah. Tommy is always taking care. I'm always helping research and take care of things, too. Um, 
and we're not gonna we're DIYers but we know what we can do and what we can't do and um, going back and putting our house back together completely 100% ourselves is it's not going to that's not no. going to happen so uh, we will need help and finding people that can help us we've already got some people that have been responsive finding contractors that are responsive is a whole other ball game yeah <laughs> so that's the fun part yeah. there too so. so but we are happy that we got annie back and we yep. will document our journey back and i always post videos on my tiktok and on my youtube uh, at carolyn j Braden, and we've been keeping up with posting all of this in a hurricane ian blog post on my website carolynsbloomingcreations.com and we'll continue to do mm -hmm. that we're going to be going back with our fur babies in this hopefully next week yep. so just continue your prayers and thank you so much for tuning in and watching us along this long life journey we we are faithful not faithful let's say what it, what would i say i am hopeful optimistic that, optimistic in 2023 i think will be a very good year for a lot of people it's just sometimes to have good things happen you have to put in the work right that's right so we're, getting there. <laughs> we're getting there so thank you for watching say Thanks. bye bye, bye everybody